money, that which is highly esteemed among men, is abominable in the sight of God. Have you noticed that I never had anything really good to say about money? You cannot serve God and mammon. I called one a fool who had so much money. He could only think of building bigger bands and had no thought about the things of God. I said, Lay not up yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, but lay up treasures in heaven. I told the rich church they were wretched, even when I spoke of making friends by means of the mammon of unrighteousness. I spoke of money merely as a tool, as a means to an end, to be used for eternal purposes. My son, do you see how money has robbed you of your peace, your joy? Every little circumstance in life is now magnified out of all proportion as you grieve the loss of one of your pockets of wealth. I am showing you how the cares of this world robs my people of life, of purpose, and shuts them off from the flow of my spirit. You are walking through something that you would have never chose willingly. You are learning how to accept what really is, not what you wish it to be. This is a hard but necessary lesson in order to navigate what is to come. Even your neighbor's behavior that is increasingly annoying is a sign and a shadow of what is to come. Many will fall because they will refuse to accept what is they will not be able to let go of what they think it should be. As best you know how, embrace what is. Nothing is permanent. Soon your journey will come to an end. If you make the right choices today, you will be grateful down the road, even unto eternity.